Hey, Eric. What's up? You notice anything different? You shaved? You have a mustache. So, Apex is Unleashed the Archer's fourth full length that comes after their 2015 release, which was Time Stand Still. Um, I didn't listen to that a whole lot. I, I got a sense of the album with the uh, singles, uh, which just kind of lacked in the production department. Uh, their vocalist, Brittany Slays, is a very talented vocalist. I've heard a, a lot of other projects in the past prior, uh, and, and she really does have a great range. Uh, she is definitely one of the best. Uh, when it comes to female power metal or metal vocalists in general, uh, but she's really not had uh, a consistent, solid album uh, that really that really brought her up to the upper echelons of uh, the greatest of all time vocalists, people like Bruce Dickinson or Halford, uh, or even anybody in, in that uh, subgenre, really. So where are we here with Apex? Well, um, we definitely have the production right. That, that sounds good. Uh, it's everything else that, that we really have a problem with, so... Yeah, there are a lot of problems with this, this album. And let's start with just the flat-out inconsistency all the way through. They've never really been able to put together a full, cohesive package as far as a solid power metal, heavy metal album goes. And this album's no different. There are some good songs here and there, but they just cannot write a consistent album. They're more concerned with the concepts and the lyrics and the vocal melodies. And just don't put together anything that really sticks with you even hours after you listen to it. I mean, some of the vocal melodies do, but oh, it's, yeah. it's really a cheap thing when there's so many bands out there writing this style of music that are just better all around in the songwriting department. Yeah, definitely. You've got some really <coughs> solid singles here. The Matriarch is excellent. Uh, you've got uh, Cleanse the Bloodlines, which is, is probably one of my favorite songs by them one of, of all time. One of best songs. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, but outside of that, what do you really have to gain uh, what really sticks out for this entire album, and you're just kind of left empty-handed here, really. Uh, the beginning track, Awakening, uh, starts off with some really solid uh, synth work. You feel like it's really going to be uh, relatively impactful to the process here, but it really goes nowhere, uh, just kind of ebbs into a pretty average Unleash the Archers riff, and that's just really disappointing, uh, because the songs that, that come after that, I feel like are fairly solid. You get up until, what, one, two, three, and four, and then everything after that just slopes down. Uh, we get more of the same humdrum bullshit, uh, and it really doesn't ever get any better. In fact, the title track all the way at the end of the CD is actually one of the worst tracks on the CD. It's just an eight-minute ballad full of uh, meandering vocal passages and underwritten uh, guitar passages as well. So. Yeah, that's... It's a shame the album went the way it did. It started out fairly strong, and oh, yeah. I don't know what they're doing making the title track the worst, most boring, least eventful song of the album. I guess it makes sense because it's a concept album, but I feel like you should end on a high note. If you're going to make a long, slow, drawn-out song like that, yeah. it doesn't just need to clean the plot up. You need to end on an epic note and be like, holy shit, I was taken on an adventure. And it, it's more so like, man, I'm glad that fucking song's over. Yeah. Like, I'm falling asleep here. Exactly. You can look at bands that kind of do the big scope power metal right, like uh, Arion. Uh, they actually just had a CD out recently that was fairly solid, the source. Um, but they're, they're just not at that scope, not at that capacity as songwriters. Um, it, it's really just very disappointing to see a band with a lot of potential, especially in their vocalist, uh, just not capitalize on that promise, that potential, in any sense of the word. Um, you can really see where it all goes wrong. Just right before this album came out, you had a, a lot of commentary on the lyrics and the concept and what really drove the album. And it was a very elaborate process. There's a lot going into it. Three separate eight-minute videos uh, discussing everything going into the characters, the plot, the, the entire background for the story and the areas that this takes place in. Um, but everything feels mid-tempo around it, like everything was structured to kind of 
fit into the narrative. And because the narrative is so strong, everything else really suffers because of it. Yeah, we're not going to get too far into the narrative here because it's very, very in-depth. If you're interested, we'll put links to the that uh, Brittany Slay's talking about the narrative. Like he said, there are three, almost ten minute, nine minute videos about the concept and the characters and all that. And it sounds pretty interesting from what I can see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's definitely very interesting. Um, it, it actually does have a lot of potential in and of itself. It has to do with an immortal being that awakens from his uh, mountain fortress, mountain prison, uh, who is summoned by the matriarch. This, this grand foreboding character that clearly they put a lot of thought and time into, kind of developing out. Uh, but unfortunately, besides the title track and Cleansing the Bloodline, you don't really get a sense of her character in any impassioned sense. Uh, there's just not enough uh, uh, charisma in the songwriting to really bring out any of the characters, it really put any uh, passion or, or just aggression in to really seeing what they're about, any detail. And that's what this album really needs. It needs an attention to detail that it really doesn't have. True that. Yeah. The lack of dynamic, interesting songwriting could be forgiven if there were really good riffs, really good solos, and I feel like this album doesn't really have much of either. No. The riffs are pretty standard for the most part. The best riff on the album, I realized, was basically ripped off an, an Absence song. Oh, yeah. Uh, the intro to Awakening is ripped off of Maelstrom by the Absence. And other than that, really, I can't think of any riffs throughout the entire album that I remember, honestly, yeah. other than Cleanse the Bloodlines has some right. pretty good riffs through it. Yeah, Cleanse the Bloodlines really feels like a matured uh, sense of songwriting from the band. It really does feel like a natural progression from uh, the last couple songs that I had heard from them. Uh, it felt heavy, uh, melodic, but it also felt very intricate. Uh, had the entire album been written in that way, I felt I definitely like it would have been a lot better. But... That's not what we have. We have a series of peaks with a shit ton of valleys. So many valleys. Valleys everywhere. We're in California. It's Basically, happening. Yeah. Napa all day. Yeah. I can see why they ripped off an absence riff. There's a lot of Melodeth influence here. I wouldn't say a ton. There's a good amount in some of the riffs, and there's these harsh vocals that appear occasionally. I don't know what they're saying. I haven't really looked at the lyrics, but I, I assume it has something to do with the story, an evil character in the story, to drive the concept home. But they're just so bad, I don't care. They're fucking terrible. They're some of the worst harsh vocals I've ever heard. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I feel like somewhere someone in a studio heard them cringe really hard and then just turned them down slowly over time. <laughs> because they really just decrease the quality of every single song that they appear on. Uh, especially the Matriarch, uh, which was one of the driving singles here. They just sound like a single brown note. Uh, amidst uh, a, a fairly solid composition. Um, had they been put to better use or maybe extrapolated on, they just seem so barren and basic. Uh, bare bones is the word I'm looking for. Uh, they just don't add any purpose to the tracks in any sense. They don't add anything to the story, to the characters, to the atmosphere, because at this point they just feel like really terrible add-ins, and you could cut them out of the compositions entirely and probably have better tracks. Yeah, we don't really need these Alexi Laiho impressions on this album. No, they serve I'm good. No purpose. Thank you. As far as positives go for the CD, um, they're kind of few and far between, but I do feel like they do really get into and hone down on a lot of their finer qualities with their two singles. Um, you can really just find them out on YouTube and get the most out of this album. That's The Matriarch and cleanse the bloodlines. On the matriarch we get a very consistent and concise, uh, very uh, straightforward three minute, three and a half minute uh, heavy metal track. Uh, that has a very catchy chorus, it has a, a lot of really uh, driving powerful riffs, uh, really bring everything home, as well as uh, a very over the top of course performance by Britney Slays. Um, and then of course you've got Cleanse the Bloodlines, which is very impactful, one of the most emotionally resonant tracks on the entire CD. Uh, really has a sense of deep regret and sorrow to it. Uh, Britney's vocals really, really give you a sense of the story at this point, really bring a lot of weight that I feel like is lacking almost everywhere else. Uh, it really feels like it's tugging at your heartstrings at points as you're really getting into the, the characters and the plot here. Um, there's also some of the best riffs on the CD here. Uh, some really excellent finger tapping towards the beginning here, as well as the end as it fades out. Um, everything in between is just rock solid. I give that an A for effort as well as songcraft. Um, it's a shame that it just has to end there.
I have to give them credit. They actually have a budget for this album. The, all their other albums had some of the worst production I've ever heard on an album of this style. I've listened to some black metal and some death metal albums that have had rough production. Oh yeah, same here. But there is no reason this type of music should have been so tinny and lifeless. It took all the punch out of the guitars. The harsh vocals were near and audible. Well, it, it might be to the album's benefits. Yeah. But, um, and it hurt Britney's vocals. Like, she just wasn't able to punch through like she does in this album. And they really, really improved there. Kudos to them. Kudos to them. Well, round of applause for doing that one thing right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's that's pretty much as, as far as we got when it came to the positives. I, I just felt like I left uh, empty-handed and uh, disappointed. Basically. In yeah. grief. Uh, so, I, I think personally, uh, w what would I give this album? Uh, I think I'd give it a five. It, it's certainly passable in a lot of ways. Um, but everything here is just written so underwhelmingly. It's just so bare bones, and as far as an expansive concept goes, um, it, it surely is very uh, intense and uh, complex, but it, the compositions here just don't back anything up. It, there's, there's no weight to any of this. There's no scale. There's no scope. Uh, it, it just falls flat on its face as far as what it's setting out to do. Britney Slays is a very talented vocalist. Well, let's just hope in the future that they can do more with her. Uh, Eric, what would you give this? Uh, five is perfect. It's just so middle ground. I really want to like it because Britney, as we've said multiple times, is an amazing, She's amazing excellent. vocalist. Oh, yeah. She's one of the best I've ever heard. And I'd put her in top ten in music I've heard, honestly. Not even just metal. And definitely in her style, she's up there. But... They just need to get that songwriting down. I mean, let somebody else in the band write the songs or something like that. I'm not sure who does, but they're just not doing a convincing job. No. No, at this point, four projects in, I think it's time to really uh, reassess what the finer qualities of the band are or just uh, find something else to do entirely because uh, it, it hasn't been cutting it for at least four projects now. So, uh, as always, I'm Eric. I'm David. And, uh... Thanks for being a champ.